All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at VLF counts. And the one prior of uh, one of my videos, I created a video on what VLFs were and how excessive VLFs can lead to performance degradation. So you want to knock those down. So here we have a script that just looks at the, the VLF count on my instance here. And you can see my sales DB, which is what's the size of my sales DB. So uh, we've got a uh, 211 meg, that's pretty small, and our log uh, size is 100, pretty small, right? So what we're going to do, what I did was I started up uh, SQL Query Stress, and I'm, you can just see I'm doing a whole lot of inserts into a table, but I'm holding the log hostage over here. I created a uh, simple insert here, and then I didn't issue the commit, right? So I'm holding the log hostage, basically, while I do my massive number inserts and this when that happens i'm not allowing the transactional to clear so what will happen is we'll just see a vlf the vlf count uh transactional will grow and the vlf count spin up so what, what are too many for uh, what's a what's a good parameter well i you know i don't know to be quite honest it, it's really dependent upon oftentimes just judgment of of what different people believe um, you know, is is 50 VLS for um, a, a gigabyte size transaction log too many? Probably not. Is 500 VLS, are, are that, is that too many for a gigabyte transaction log? Yeah, probably. Some people use uh, uh, judgment in order to uh, track their VLS and to maintain what they what they perceive to be um, excessive fragmentation and others use a hard just use a hard stop if they they, they have if they see more than uh, 50 to 75 VLFs on one log they think that's too many um, and then they go ahead and take steps to remedy that uh, which is I think that might be not the best way to go because what if you have a transaction log that's 500 gig all right then a thousand VLFs may be perfectly normal all right so let's take Take a look here. So either way, it's gonna, you're going to have to use some judgment on you know, what exactly is too big for your environment, and maybe do a little research on your own uh, for other people's opinions on what the VLF count is uh, is considered high. All right. So as we can see, we're just uh, spinning up the as I continue to talk, we're just spinning up the VLF count. So you know, let's see if we can stop this. All right. So we've got 78 and again for uh, what, what was the size of that 100 a um, was it 100 meg yeah I think it was 100 meg that's probably too big and, and if not we're going to pretend it's too big so let's just stop this let's cancel out this give that a break and let's come and commit now the and basically uh, not hold that transaction log hostage and let's see what the on the database, let's see if it's the, the recovery mode. I think it was simple. Options. No, well, let's go put it to simple. All right. So now we have our VLF count at, at 78 on the CLCB. So now we have a simple script to, uh, and we've committed our transaction. Uh, so we're not holding that uh, transaction log hostage. So now we're just doing a, a simple, it's, I will put up once I'm done where I get the, the script from. Um, I forget the individual's name, but I'll, I'll put a little uh, a little call out for you to go and use his script if you like or, or go find your own. But I like the this gentleman's script here. It, it's very good. It does the job very well. So let's see. I guess we already did that, right? Let's go ahead and do that again anyway. All right, that's great. We can remove that. And now we're just going to run his script to clean out the the VLF count to shrink the VLF count, which is basically we're just going to shrink file, right? Uh, DBC shrink file down to a more uh, reasonable level, 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 a uh, more reasonable level. All right, so the shrink is done. We should see a lot less now, and we are down to something that I find quite reasonable for the sales DB, right? Um, for VLFs, is, 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 that's that's good. I like to see that on a, a database, a log file that's that small. 
That's basically where it should be in my opinion. So, a little quick lesson on how to shrink your VLF count, how to remove them, how to get them down to normal. And now that they're down to normal, we can uh, modify the transaction log to a, to a more appropriate size, to uh, maybe more appropriate increments. All right, now this, your, this example here was a contrived example, right? Hopefully you don't have anything that's uh, on your environment that's just sitting holding open transactions open. Let's, let's hope you don't. Uh, so you want to go back and look. Uh, maybe the next step is to look at the growth on these files, of the transaction log growth increments on these files and adjust them to a more appropriate size. All right, the transaction log file. Um, all right, well, that's it for shrinking the VLFs, and thanks for watching.